Contoso Store Arkansas has total sales amount more than its forecasted value. Manager of this store will not receive any email alert. But for another store, where total sales is less than the total forecast value, the responsible store manager should receive an email alert with a screenshot of this report page. We have already configured row-level security on this dataset, so that each manager will see data only relevant to his store. So, how to create this functionality of such conditional email alert system? In this video, let's find out the solution. All right, first of all, let's find out what are the options available in Power BI service. For example, in this Alert Me option, which uses newly launched data activator features, we can't change this threshold dynamically because it accepts only static values. And another problem is that here we cannot have dynamic email list. So let's go back to Power BI Desktop and start creating the solution for this problem. If you look into the store table, I have added dummy email IDs for the store managers. Here I will add a calculated column, column name I can keep as sales versus forecast. This column will simply calculate the difference between total sales and forecast. Our email trigger should go only to stores with negative values because only these stores total sales are less than its forecast values. Next, I will create another calculated column. This column name I can keep as alert status. Here, I will validate. If total sales is less than total forecast value, an email alert is required. At this stage, I am just manually applying these logic to show you that we need a table with only these line items. And this need to be updated dynamically every day with data refresh. To get this filter data, I will create a separate table by using filter function. This table name I can keep as dynamic email list. As said, I will use filter function on the store table where I need only those line items where total sales is less than forecast amount. Now I get this dynamically filtered table separately. This table has only those line items where we need to send the email. It will be automatically updated after data refresh. From the modeling tab, make sure that this table is disconnected in your model. Next, I can go to the report page, save this report, and then publish it to one of the workspaces with premium or fabric capacity. Because I am going to use a feature, which is only available for these workspaces at this moment. All right. Now open the report in Power BI service and click on subscribe to report. Create a new subscription and select newly launched dynamic per recipient option. Select the same semantic model of this report. From the list of tables, I need to select my newly created dynamic email list table. This is already filtered only for relevant store managers. Next, drop down on recipients options and select manager's email ID column from the column list of our dynamic table. Mention your email subject. You can also have this as a column in your dynamic table so that you can dynamically add personalized email subjects. In this section, you can mention the email message which you want to send to all those managers where store's revenue is less than the forecast. Now, I can add the store name filter in the store table from store names available in my dynamic email list. Click on Next. Here you can set up the frequency at which you want to send these email alerts. In my case, I refresh my data once in a day, so I will select this option, which will send an email only after my data refresh is completed. Click Next and save your subscription. This way, you will be able to send daily email alerts only to those store managers where they have their revenue less than the forecast. Thanks for watching. If you want to create visuals with such custom axes, please check out our playlist. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.